Hi everybody, Craig here. Welcome back to Symphony of War, the Nephilim Saga. In our last episode, we began Chapter 8, although we didn't get into the actual story battle, we spent our time doing two different arena battles to build up our troops' experience and also gain some additional resources, and thankfully we were pretty successful in doing that. We have a lot of extra gold, and we managed to get a fair bit of extra experience, including the ability to promote a couple of units. So, all in all, it was a very productive set of arena battles, but now we're ready to go for Chapter 8's story mission, so let's get into it and see if we can get that done. Now, as I mentioned, we did those arena battles, and we spent our time before and afterwards organizing our troops, promoting a few units. And importantly here, just to remind everybody, you can see our dragon in the background now in Abigail's squad, and I believe we also have the same situation in Marion's squad. Yes, she has a dragon as well, so we're really doing quite well in that regard. And then if we go back to the marketplace... Uh, for recruiting, we don't really have anything different. And the trader still doesn't have any new items, so nothing really special for us at the moment. I think what we'll do at this stage is probably just proceed into the battle. But I guess before I do that, let me just quickly check and see if it would be worth perhaps adding some more artifacts to a few units here. So we do have this elegant blade. Let's see, that would decrease strength. Oh, but look at that. So it adds plus two to squad capacity and plus one skill. Now, this could actually make a big difference for us now that I'm looking at it. For example, in Stefan's squad, or what about in, I'm just looking at my archers here, Narima's squad's pretty full. Craig's squad's also pretty full. I don't think we'd be able to have any luck there. Now, Jewel's squad, on the other hand, if we were going to add a unit, it would cost us 12... Unless it's an archer, it would be a little bit less. So what if we were to remove the item that we currently have? Let's see. We could remove the Shinobi Gi. Or just replace it with the Elegant Blade. Okay, 11. And now if we go and we recruit a new bowman, let's go back to the marketplace. Okay, there we go. We've got Beringer here. So let's recruit him. And then we can go back to organizing our squad... Go to Jules' thing here. Oh yeah, look at that. Only 10. Perfect. And you know what? We might as well put him right in front of Jules as a bit of protection for him. Just in case we do get attacked. Oh, look at that. That's amazing. So, very, very good there that we have the ability to add that extra unit. Um, let's just see if there's anything else that might benefit. Like, for example, in Sybil's squad here, we could potentially add another artifact. Let's just see if there was anything else we had of note. Oh, the Puffin Feather Amulet decreases health, adds skill and evasion. We've got the Zero Point Blade. Now, look at that. Um, it adds a ton of strength, but it... or uh, Health, I should say, and arm, but it decreases the strength of the squad that it's equipped to. We've got the Flame Saber, which is just a straight-up strength buff. Now, that could be useful. You know what? I'm glad I looked at this. I was going to go kind of without paying too close attention. Why don't we get rid of this ruby ring and instead, for Craig's squad here, we can equip the flame saber. Yeah, that's huge. Very nice. Okay. Then for, let's see, which other squads are we using quite a bit up front? Barnabas' squad could probably benefit from maybe even like a ruby ring. Just, you know, adding a bit of strength. Sure, why not? Now, Stefan's squad here, maybe we can add something. Let's see what we've got. You know what? We have the Shinobi Gi to add, so why don't we do that? Yeah, just doubling up our evasion. That's very good. Uh, Diana's squad, they're maxed out. Their capacity is totally full, as you can see. Abigail's squad. Now, they have a bit of room. We could definitely add something else. Let's see here. Whoops. Whoops. We've got the Steel Arming Sword, which we already had. Could go with the Crusader's Mace, but that does decrease magic, so I don't think I'll do that. If I remember correctly, the Dragon's Breath Attack is part strength, part magic. Or part, you know, it's dictated by strength and magic, not by one or the other. It's a combination. Um, 
The zero point blade could be useful, but I don't like that it decreases strength. The extra health wouldn't be so bad, though. And, you know, one one strength decrease is not too bad. But maybe we'll just hold off. The Puffin Feather Amulet really adding a ton of evasion. That would be pretty good for our rogue type units or even our... Yeah, it'd probably be best for Stefan's squad, honestly. So let's see. Kesha's Daikatana. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it as is. So we're going to we're going to roll with what we've got here. So why don't we head over now just to to remind everybody we did our conversations last time, so that's done. And we don't have any research scrolls to spend. So at this point, why don't we proceed here? Let's deploy and start the mission. Chapter 8 Marooned. The storm damaged our own ships, forcing us off course, but now we have the opportunity to annihilate the Tide Reaver presence completely. Narima, you mentioned you were familiar with these lands. Looks pretty treacherous. The winds were not kind to us, Craig, for this is a very inhospitable place. There is little room to maneuver an army through the swamp, but the land on the other side of the mountains is clear. We can't let the Tide Reavers get away with their slave trade. We have a chance to stop them here. You wish to cross through the swamp? Yes, but we will cover more ground if we split up. Diana, can you lead a group on east side of the mountains? Your judgment has not failed us thus far. Yes, please decide who will go with me. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to split our forces here. We have a 10 deployment limit. Let's go down and see what we're dealing with. So, okay, so here's Diana. Her squad obviously very, very strong. Um, you can see that, oh man, we've got a lot of cavalry down here. And we've got some rogues. We're going to have to watch out for those rogues potentially ambushing us, although it's just the squad leader, so. Okay, but we're going to need some backup for Diana. Meanwhile, over here, we've got the swampy, soupy land over here, which I'm assuming is going to be very difficult to traverse. So I'm thinking the cavalry would probably be best to add over on the open ground side of things. So why don't we do that? We can throw on Barnabas over here. And then I'm, I'm thinking we want one set of archers on this side to help out. So maybe we put Narima over here and her group. And then Jules can aid us on this side. So we'll bring Jules over here. Now we've got Craig and his stack obviously very strong. Especially with that new... Uh, tier 3 shielded infantry in the front middle there. That's going to make a big difference. The name of it is, of, of course, escaping me. Um, the name of the unit, that is. Why don't we bring Abigail? Abigail's quite powerful. And then we can bring... You know what? Let's bring Marion over here. To help out Diana. Meanwhile, then back on this side, we can bring... Uh, Sybil, probably... Stefan. We'll bring Sybil. Now we've got one more unit to, to place. Um, just looking around what we've got. So I guess, you know what, before I finish, let's just double check what our mission info is. Our victory condition is Craig reaches Lemelin Monastery. Our defeat condition is Craig is defeated in battle. Then we have challenge mission Seize Graydon Slave Complex. We want to get this done in 13 turns. We have some objectives to capture and squads to neutralize. I'm assuming this is... Yes, this is the Graydon Slave Complex. We definitely want to get in there and free those slaves. And it looks like we have to get Craig, I'm assuming, to this Blue Arrow or to the monastery itself, from what I'm seeing. And then we've got plenty of structures to capture on, on the way. So... I mean, Craig's side probably has more units. So I'm thinking it might be better to put another unit over there. That said, we've already got five, so 
and, and Abigail and Craig are both very strong and able to hit up front. Sybil's got healing on this side. Over here, we've got Marion to provide some healing. And Barnabas, of course, does have a little bit of healing as well. But you know what? I think we'll probably put the unit over here just to have a nice even split. We'll put Hella over there. And then we're going to begin. Boy, this one's going to be tricky, though. You can see just with the difficult terrain and the fact that we have to kind of split our forces, I think this one's going to be a tough battle for us. We also have to watch out. We're going to get ambushed potentially by that rogue. For my people. For okay, my homeland. Craig can get right down in there right off the hop here and do some damage, which would be great. So can Sybil sure. and Abigail. Okay, perfect. Well, strong. let's see. Who do we want to hit first? Maybe... We could even get our archer down mind? there. Ooh, yeah, this wouldn't be a bad idea. Can we go there? Ah, oh, shoot, we can't. Yeah, so I don't think we're going to be in range to do any bow attacks, sadly. The battle lies um, before me. Why don't we hit... With Craig's stack, let's hit Percy. We'll go right here. Let's see what we do. Nice, good damage. Took some punishment, but we can handle it. Now, follow up. Nice, killed their front line at the very least. That's great. Very good, okay. And then we can get maybe oh, Stefan to come down. He can something. follow up. Wouldn't be the worst idea. I must be Abigail brave. can move down and attack Alfred, I'm thinking. Let's see how this goes. Nice, good damage from the dragon. Oh, excellent. Two units down. Shoot, I was really hoping for that kill, but pretty close and a nice level up. That's that's fantastic. Okay, Bet so we'll get Stefan down coming. here. Actually, you know what? Stefan can probably finish off Alfred's group even. Let's see. Can we Yeah, hit him with the bow here? Let's see. We might be able to get the finish. Maybe. Oh, shoot. Wishful thinking, I guess. Um, Sybil's going to need to guard Stefan because we don't want Stefan's group getting attacked too badly. We will always find a way. And then Jules. I probably don't want Jules all the way down there. So let's put Stay Jules strong, on the bridge. Oh, I do have to be careful, though. I don't want Percy's group hitting Jules for any substantial damage. So you know what? We'll put Time Jules here. This. Yeah, that's going to do that. For for that side, that's that's it. Um, now over here, Barnabas can plan. swoop down and attack Timothy's group. So let's do that. This should be pretty nasty here. Let's see how much damage we do. Oh yeah. Big damage. Nice. Just the uh, Drakeling is left. Then we have a chance to keep moving. So why don't we proceed further down? Actually, wait, before we do that, don't want to go necessarily into range of the other cavalry. You know what? Let's just stay right where we are. Where am I needed? Um Marion can head down and finish off Timothy's group. Actually, Hella's group could do that, get get some experience for them. Can we force a surrender even? Oh yeah. Perfect. Excellent. Nice level ups there too. Uh, okay, now we've got Ferdinand over here. Why don't we a use never surrenders. Diana to just brutalize Ferdinand here? Oh, yeah, there we go. Big damage. Nice. And a nice level up for our heavy infantry in the back there. Donar, guide my attack. You know what? We could probably get some extra work here done on Ferdinand, so why don't we do that? Let's see if we get the kill here. 
Nice, perfect. Some good level ups there for Narima's group. And then Marion, we could send over to grab the Denari Temple since we're here. Although Narima can probably do it next turn. So why don't we instead head down this way? We could grab the mine perhaps next turn with... Although that might be better for Hela to do. Maybe we'll head down this way. There we go. I think that's everybody. So we'll end it there. Shoot, I was kind of nervous about this. Oh, see, yeah, we take a lot of damage. Oh, thank goodness we survived. I have to be really careful with um, Stefan's group just because they can't handle a ton of damage. <laughs> dragon versus dragon and... Well, I should say Dragon versus Drakeling, and the Dragon won. Okay, so Sybil's group coming under attack. Tanking the damage pretty well. A little nervous here, though. Let's see if we can... Ouch. Okay, yeah, we definitely took some punishment. Nice free action for some extra healing. That's good. All right, we handled it, but we definitely took a lot of damage there. Oh, shoot, I didn't realize we had moved that far into range. This could be nasty. Ouch. Okay, thankfully we got the good healing in, so we should be fine. We're definitely taking a lot of punishment. Yikes. Nice, good kill there at least. Uh-oh, we're going to get hit again. Oh, no, we might lose our dragon here. That's not good. Okay, we're going to get a heal at least. There's a good kill. Okay, excellent. But, oh man, this is going to be bad. Yeah, we're taking a beating here. Boy, you really got to be careful with the range on that cavalry. Very easy to move a unit like I just did into range and end up suffering the consequences. Okay, Barnabas is tanking that pretty well. Dishing it out very well is... Oof. It's healing, though. Ouch, look at that. We're just taking tons of punishment. Okay, good level up, at least. Oh, shoot. Now we're going to take some arrows here. Ouch. We did get some healing, though, thank goodness. And that barely did any damage. Alright, so now it's time to strike back here. What's this? These lands are not suited for the city-dwelling humans. I am called Raskuja, and for a small fee of 3,000 human gold coins, Raskuja will become your guide and protector. 3,000 for one mercenary? Blue-haired human has not met Barak Tor, hmm? We become mercenary for many of your years. Pay once and Raskuja slay all enemies of blue-haired human. Raskuja is deadly killer, swift as wind, strong like mountains, strike like fire. So it looks like we can pay to hire Raskuja, who's some kind of humanoid cat, uh... I guess, character. I mean, 3,000 is a lot to spend on one unit. That said, um, we have plenty of gold, and I'm hoping maybe we'll get to keep this unit after the battle ends. So I'm going to hire him. You'd better be worth it, Rascuja. Please help us out with these damn swamps. Blue-haired human's name is Craig. Craig is very smart human. Raskuja worth far more than few clinks of human money. Show Raskuja who to kill, and so he shall to be doing it. Let's check out... Oh, well, okay, Raskuja comes along with a, a squad here. It's not just... Raskuja is to be ready. Let's see. So he's a level 14 mercenary. What's this Barak Tor savagery? At night, every attack is an ambush. Now that's pretty deadly. 
Feline Acuity, Massive Evasion Boost versus Stealth Attacks. Disarm unit has a chance based on skill to prevent its primary target from counterattacking in the same battle. And then he's got a Ranger, a Skirmisher, Priestess, and another Skirmisher. Okay, well, that's, that's a pretty solid squad there. Plus, they have healing capability, which is also very good. Okay, we got Marcus here. Let's see if we can do some work on Marcus with Jules' group here. <laughs> Jules's group is deadly. Nice. Look at that. Man, that's fantastic. We can probably get that other bowman to level up and turn into another archer as well. Um, okay, so now we've got Owen in the open. So let's see if we can get Craig Time over there. Now. Yep, we certainly can. So let's head over. Put some work in on Owen's squad. Nice, we're tanking that damage like it's nothing. We didn't even take any damage with our main uh, defender unit there. Nice, class mastery up for our apprentice. Um, all right, now we want to get the finish on this group. Maybe we'll here move Sybil over Ready or not. and give her a chance to, to do a heal here. Perfect. Excellent. There it is in a surrender. That's exactly what we wanted. All right, so Rescuja can move quite well, so maybe we just send Rescuja over to grab this Pyrocyte mine. Now, how far can this squad go? Okay, they can go right to here, so everybody else is just gonna... My friends are counting on me. Abigail... Actually, you know what? Stefan's group... And head down and grab this treasure. Very nice. And then he can move back over here. He'll wait there. Abigail, on the other this. hand, can start moving over this way. Which, stay put. All right, now on this side of things, Narima can head over and grab the Denari Temple. Perfect. And then can Hela... Yes, Hela can grab the Obsidian Mine. Take that. Okay, now things could get a little nasty here. We've got multiple cavalry units that are going to give us some trouble, including Barrett's unit that's got full health. Uh, this does make me a little nervous, though. So what I'm thinking is Repent, Diana can ha handle the these units down here. They're both already damaged pretty well. Marion's taking some punishments. we got to keep that in mind. School is so I'm in thinking session. with Barnabas's unit, we want to go and get the upper hand with an attack here. That's probably going to be best. So let's do that. Nice. Big damage. Two kills right away. Barely any damage taken. That's totally fine. Oh, fantastic. And now it's just a horse bowman left. Okay, that's extremely good. Uh, now, as for where to park Barnabas... Thinking probably just kind of here. Doesn't really matter where we go. Where am I? Diana, it's probably best to head down and finish off the squad that's got more units that are kind of scary. So let's go right here, get the finish. Oh, we didn't actually get the kill. That's kind of surprising. Nice level ups there. Okay, so Marion now it would probably be great to go and take on Dylan's squad here, get the finish there. You know what? I'm going to do it as an attack because I want to get an opportunity to heal as well. So yeah, we are not in great shape, so getting a, a heal would be amazing. Perfect. Yep, there it is. Still a little nervous, but I'm hoping that we'll be fine. Okay, I think that takes care of all of our movement. Let's just double check here. Yep. Okay. 
The good news as well is that if anybody does die, we do have the Denari Temple, so we should be able to head over. This is a little bit nerve-wracking, but we're okay. And this will give us a chance to heal. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Good experience gain there as well. Oh, same thing. Okay. A little stronger squad this time, but we should be fine. Nice. Good damage. Good chance to heal as well. Dragon taking some uh, punishment, but... Nice. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. Wiped out that squad. Earth affinity. That's good. It's always nice to have more of those affinity scrolls. Boy, Mary own squad is just getting all the action here. Perfect. I mean, look at that. We got tons of good healing and some nice level ups there. So I'm certainly not going to complain about that. Plus, we've basically eliminated all the enemy squads now. So at this point, I think what we'll Sayuna do... Will never die. Narima can just start heading down. Wait there. Uh, Diana's squad might as well surrenders. grab Morrison. Very nice. Uh, we've got Hela here. We can move on down. Might as well just kind of group up and start heading over because there is a way that these units can head and meet up. Not that they may necessarily even be needed, but probably be good to have them kind of help out if necessary. Um, Marion's squad could definitely use some healing. Though, I mean, there's no rush. We've got plenty of turrets here. We don't necessarily need to seize everything right away. Master Sergeant, awaiting orders. Well, Barnabas can grab this, the stables. And then, you know what? Why don't we send Marion down this way? Marion can do some self-healing here. Let's see. Uh, let's just start there. All right, that works. Back up here now. Um, They'll notice this one Sybil sure. can grab the gold mine. That's perfect. And then everybody else can... Well, Roscuja is going to grab the Pyrocyte mine. All right, now let's deal with what we got down here. We've got Sham, we've got Howell, and we've got Herman. Sham does have that rogue, but it's just one. And Craig has a rear guard, Craig himself. Ready. So we should be fine. We'll pop him right on the main land spot there. I must not Abigail fail. can do the same with him. Yeah, I don't think we even need to use any healing. I think we're fine there. Getting real thirsty here. Although I could have maybe healed Stefan's group. That might have been smart. Since he is so beat up. He'll wait there. He and then Jules can move in just to try to get closer to help us out if necessary. Alright, perfect. I think that's everybody. Okay. Craig's group getting hit here, but we're taking the damage pretty well. Oh, yeah, and we're dishing it out. Hope we can wipe the squad here. Maybe not, though. Let's see. Very close. The dragon's all that's left, or the drake, I should say. Drakeling. All right, well, that went quite well. So, yeah, I don't even think these units are going to have to move over to help, really. So we can just finish up grabbing all of the... Um, remaining things here so let's take the treasure proof of merit um i guess we can just wait there mary own can grab the iron mine and then i guess Don't diana maybe just move down and drop some healing on mary own here who's still a little bit worse for wear perfect Time to even the Rima's going to hang out with everybody else. And I think we've grabbed everything on this side, really. So, Ella might as well just move down with the group. I guess she could heal Diana. Sure, why not? All right. Well, we're in really good shape now. I mean, this is looking pretty... Um, Stay strong, pretty everyone. good for us. Now, can we force a surrender here? Let's see. Max chance. Sure, let's do it. Nice and easy. 
All right, now between Craig, Abigail, and Stefan, and Rascuja, we should be able to handle what, what's left people, here. So Craig can move up here. Put some hurt on Herman. Nice. Good kill there. Oh, fantastic. And there's the surrender. That's exactly what we needed. I couldn't have worked out any better. So then Abigail... You know what? Let's just put Abigail right next to Craig there on the bridge. We'll drop a heal on Craig's group. Perfect. And then Rascuja... We'll move down and provide some backup. Actually, before he does that... Oh, sorry. We'll put Stefan here as well. And we'll wait... And then Rascuja can move in behind and provide some healing for Stefan's group. So we'll heal the rogue, who's the most damaged. All right, I think we're good. Let's end it there. Oh, not all squads have moved. Who's left? I'm forgetting somebody. Oh, Sybil up top. Yep. I'm just getting started. Right, right, right. I'm glad I remembered Sybil. Um, and then let's do a heal here. Great. I mean, we've got more units than we really need, given the amount of units remaining. So it's just a matter of grabbing the remaining um, structures and whatnot. We, of course, have to still grab the um, the slave camp. Liberated, I should say, I guess. Nice. Good damage there. Good healing as well for us. Oh, perfect. Nice. There's another kill. That squad should be easy to just kind of mop up. Hopefully Craig can get the kill on this group. Let's see. It's good damage there on the first turn. I'm guessing that Drake's probably going to still be left alive, but we'll see. Oh, nice! And there's the surrender. Excellent. We got a loyalty increase there. Ooh, and it looked like we got some kind of uh, ranged weapon there. Maybe like a musket? I'm not sure what that was. Um... All right, we've got Powell still left, so bet you didn't see this. One it would coming. be nice to just finish Powell off with ranged hits. I love this part. So you know what? Maybe what we'll do is we'll go down like this. What's our odds to force surrender here? Oh, max. All right, let's do that. Easy peasy. Very nice. Oh, nice, a bronze arena these. token. Always glad to get those. Oh, and then look at this. Jules can step down and just let Nader have it with some arrows. Oh, <laughs> man, I can't get over how strong Jules' squad is now. Look at that, level ups all around and a class mastery increase. They're devastating. I must stay strong. Craig can move over and finish off Nader here. Okay, we're gonna get hit by the dragon but that's fine <laughs> magic blast and a nice extra heal too we are doing very well um my friends are counting on me let's send rascuja over to this gem mine next turn he can grab that here comes sybil sybil's gonna not. be a little bit still before she can get really into the fight and that's fine. I mean, really, there isn't a whole lot left. All we've got is the slave complex, I think, and that's pretty much it. Yep. So, why don't we send I Abigail do over with Craig? Abigail, Abigail can drop a self-heal. Perfect. Meanwhile, over here, I mean, there's nothing really left for us to do, so... I don't know. I guess we just kind of move over. Not really sure. You got a plan? Well, why don't we just kind of group up? Might as well just heal ourselves, because why not? We'll keep Barnabas right there. Repent before the Diana branches. can go into the woods here, I guess. Donar, guide uh, Narima my attack. as well. We'll just kind of... Like, again, we don't even really necessarily need them, but we'll just move over... And have them ready, just... I mean, who knows, maybe, um... Well, I don't think any enemy units are going to come out of 
the Lemelin Monastery, and we, we would see them if they were there, so... Yeah, it, whatever. It's just nice to have the extra backup just in case we needed it, but... At this point, all we really have to do is free the slave complex, and we're good. So let's do that. Oh, shoot. I almost forgot about these treasure chests up here. Um, might How be good I to send some units over. Uh, Jewels can go here and do some blasting with arrows just to soften them up a bit. Let's do that. Nice bit of damage there. Excellent. Ooh, and a class mastery up as well. That's great. Okay, now let's take Abigail over and see if Abigail can get the get the kill here. We've been using Craig a lot, so it's good to spread it around. Make sure Abigail's getting some experience as well. Nice, good damage there. Very nice. Not quite the kill, but very close. So next turn, Abigail should be able to finish them off, and then we can claim the slave complex. Um, we'll send Stefan up here. to grab the... Actually, hang on a second. Oh, sorry. Stefan can go something? in and use his bow. Ooh, the only thing is that healer might... Uh, that might not be worth it, because the, the medic will probably just heal the infantry so this one we'll just send him up here and the, the idea being that stefan can go and grab these chests afterwards rascuja is going to grab the mine perfect They'll notice and then sybil i guess sure. can just start moving down uh meanwhile craig i guess we'll just start moving him down towards the final objective which is we need to get craig to the monastery i believe if i remember right let's just double check that yeah, Craig reaches the Lemelin Monastery, so we'll just start sending him down there. And if anything does pop out, we've got our units over here ready to go. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I guess I'll just leave them there. I don't really know what else to do with them. There's nobody else to kill, so I guess we'll just end it. I mean, I guess we could have rushed them over, but why? Oh, nice. They're attacking us. That's going to make this easier. Yep, and there we can just get the kill. Perfect. Oh, heck yeah. Just We got three class mastery uh, rank ups there. That's perfect. Oh, sh... Holy cow. Look at this. Enemy reinforcements from the east? More mercenaries? They seem determined to reach Craig's position. We can cut off their advance before they reach the swamp. Holy crap. Well, that's... Oh my god. Let's see. Okay, we've got a bunch of cavalry, mixed types of cavalry here. It's all... Well, it's all light... Most of it's light cavalry. Jeez. Okay, well... Holy cow. Thank goodness my units weren't spread out up here. Like, if I had left my archers or something up here, they'd have gotten obliterated. Um, oh, my goodness. Well, this is making things a lot more complicated now. So, shoot. Where am I, um, I guess we'll just try and attack as many of them as we can here to thin them out. We just have to be really careful. We don't want to put Narima in a bad spot. Oh my god. Um, I'm really glad I was able to at least thin out this side so there wasn't any enemy enemy units left. School is in session. Holy cow. A okay. Paladin never surrenders. Sorry, I'm a little thrown off here. This is um I wasn't expecting to get ambushed with enemy reinforcements here. Um alright, so let's use Diana. We'll attack Chad. Hope she can eliminate the squad here or get it pretty beat up anyway. Okay, that's great. Okay, there. Good damage. It's just the bowmen left. That's fine. We can we can live with that. Um now you I know what Narima could even me. just move up here. Well hang on, let's see. We've got Marion. Marion's gonna have to deal with Jorg, I think. Although you know what might be better would be to have Narima soften them up a little bit first. 
Oh, but you know what? I, I don't want to do that because then these guys are going to swoop over and probably kill Narima. I might even have to retreat Narima back now that I think about it. All right, let's attack Yorg here. Oh, let's hope this doesn't go poorly. Nice. Okay, we got to kill at least. That's great. Nice, and the dragon took all the damage, which then we were able to heal. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, now we're in excellent shape. Good level up there. Okay, that went very well. Um, Hela can jump in and finish off one of these units, probably. Um, let's go right here, I guess, and then just kind of finish them off. Hang on, what's our odds for a forced surrender? High. All right, let's try it. Ooh, no surrender. All right, we're going to the fight then. Now, that does mean they get to hit first, but that's okay. You know what? That I shouldn't have tried that surrender. I should have just gone for the kill. That was Sergeant, stupid of me. Um, and then we've just got two different light cavalry back there. So let's use Barnabas to just try and do as much damage as possible here. There was a dodge there. Okay, nice. We thinned him out. It's just a bowman at the back now. That's not bad at all. And you know what? I think we'll just wait right there. Now, we should still be out of range of the northern cavalry. We are. Thank goodness for that. But what I'm concerned about... Okay, none of these cavalry can make it over to Narima. Thank goodness. So, Time Narima, we could go here off. and at least finish off one of the cavalry squads here. Perfect. Okay, that's great. Yeah, and they can't get any closer to us, so we should be fine. Holy cow, though. What a surprise. Um, Man, that could really catch you... Away unawares i love this part um let's Stay see strong, jules everyone. can move up so next turn we'll open the chests with the two of them I must be abigail's gonna seize the slave encampment here slave complex excuse me and now with craig sybil and rascuja we can tell him now I'm kind of nervous if enemies are going to pop out of the monastery or something. So I don't want to send Craig in by himself. I definitely want I'm just getting started. allies moving down with him. The time to act is now. Go right there. Uh, we can drop a heal on Craig himself. Make sure he's in good shape. All right, I think that's going to do it. Let's see what happens here. So they're all going to just move down to get closer to attacking us. Uh-oh. Ella's is the most susceptible. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah, they're the weakest squad we have. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, we lost the Drake. Man, that sucks. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we tanked that damage. We're all right. Oh, man, they're going to probably get attacked again, though, here. Let's see. Yep. And they're, they're really going for my weak squad. Yikes. Oh, no! Oh, we lost Hela. We really got to try and get that group up to the temple. We might have to delay Craig getting to the temple here for a turn or two, if we can. Just to get Hela up over here. The only problem is now there's all this that's going to attack and probably kill her. I mean, thankfully, Hela's squad was my weakest squad, so it's not the end of the world. But, boy, this really throws a wrench in the plans, that's for sure. Um, all right, we got to just finish these units off, I think, probably. Um, I have to be very careful, though, because now with these units here, they can just swoop down and attack. So maybe Diana... 
Diana and Barnabas probably need to head up and cut off these cavalry as much as we can. Repent before the righteous. So let's do that. We'll go maybe here with Diana. She should be able to just do a ton of damage. Nice. Okay, great. That went pretty well. Nice. We maintain good health as well. That's perfect. Uh, Barnabas. Wyatt still needs to die as well. Um, Marion can probably head over and finish off Wyatt. Thinking that's probably the best course of action here. It would have been nice to get the kill on that other front unit because we're going to take some punishment now. Ouch. Oh, perfect. Okay, there's the kill. Nice class mastery up. That's great. All right, now, um, Narima. Oh, no. can any of these guys? Yeah, they can get down to where Narima is, so I'm going to have to be very careful. I ain't um, all day. Barnabas can, I guess, move up. Let's see, where's Kristoff's mobility? It's Reza that's got the most movement, so let's go cut you that off plan. with Barnabas here. We'll attack Reza. Hopefully we can get some kills here. Nice. Very good. Well, that was big. Perfect. So that went extremely well. Nice class mastery up as well. And then Barnabas can maybe... I wonder if we go like here. Can we kind of lock them in a bit. Let's see. Um, what I want to... I want to put Narima here and then finish off Chad at the, at the very least. I think we'll be fine if we put her here. Just double checking. Let's see. Oh yeah, we're good. Okay. Narima can go there. Finish off this unit. I hope. Oh, yeah. Nice and clean. Good level up as well. Oh, I'm still bummed about Hela, though. That's really disappointing. And we can't move Hela over because all these units are going to just cause us problems. Oh, but you know what? I didn't factor in. If we move Hela, like if we run away with Hela like this, that's going to probably mean... Yep, now Narima can get... Oh, thank goodness. It's just Reza that can get to Narima. That's okay. We should be fine. Ready. Um, Craig will just move, get close into position. Swift as Rascuja might need to go help out on the Here comes other Sybil. side Ready there. Or not. Whoops. They'll I want Sybil down here. Sure. Okay, let's open these get chests. Here. Nice Medal of Valor. Time to end it. Jules can open this one. Precision. I think that's pretty much everything on the map now. It's just these remaining units. Um, mission info. Let's double check. Yeah, we've got all the objectives. We just have to finish in a couple of turns. So you know what? If we play this smart, we might even be able to get Hela's units back. We would just have to delay Craig getting to the temple here. Um... But all right, let's end it and see. Oh, not all my squads have moved. Who is still? Oh, right. We have my um, friends are counting on Abigail, me. so we'll get her going as well, I guess. She can do a self-heal. Perfect. Oh, man. I am nervous about all these cavalry, though. There's still two untouched cavalry squads. Yeah, and they're going to go after Marion. Thankfully, we're going to get a heal out of this. Perfect. There it is. Should get the finish here, I think. Yep. Excellent. Now, here's what I'm worried about, though. These two big squads. Oh, ooh, this is going to hurt. We should get the kill, though. Yep, there it is. Okay, great.
Yeah, they're gonna go after Marion. She's the weakest, so this could really hurt. Okay, we tanked it. We gotta heal. Let's see if we can get that top. Yes, there it is. It should be fine now. Boy, we're gonna take another another round of this though. I don't know if we're gonna survive. That's the really scary part. Oh man. I put Marion in a bad position. Here it is, yep. Oh, thank goodness, okay. Not as much heavy cavalry in this squad. And it's two healers in the back rather than archers, so we're not taking as much damage. That's fine. Nice, we even got a kill. Oh, this has me sweating, though. I'll, I'll say that. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, man. I did not even think about that. If she goes down, we lose Hela and the Drakeling permanently. Okay. Um, Narima's going to finish Justin off here. Perfect. Okay, that's great. Now, we've got to finish off these cavalry, so let's use Barnabas and Where Diana to needed? do that. Actually, Marion could probably help as well. Um, but I don't want to take any chances, so let's just play it safe. Nice. Good level ups there as well. Okay, great. And then Barnabas can finish off session. Zephyr here. Oh, that's frustrating. We didn't quite get the kill. Well, Marion's going to have to assist now. Marion can move up, and let's just go for the finish here if we can. Perfect. We even got a heal out of it. That's great. Okay. Let's hope more reinforcements don't show up, because that would be absolutely devastating at this point. Rascuja can sensing prey. Scooge is moving up. So we're going to wait and see if we can get Hela to the Denari Temple in time to get the healing going. For my people, for my homeland. We'll put Craig there. I'm just getting we'll bring started. Sybil as well, just in case something bad ends up happening. You know what? We may as well just start moving do Abigail this. down as well. And then we're just going to leave those squads up there. Actually, well, we might as well bring them, I guess. How can I help? Even though this is kind of pointless, but we'll move oh, these sorry. two guys down. Did you need something? All right, there we go. Now the problem, of course, is Hella's movement isn't amazing. It's going to take her probably two or three turns to get all the way up there. Master Sergeant, awaiting orders. Hoping we can maybe use some shuffling to maybe help her out. There we go. Uh, Mary Owen's pretty rough shape, so let's kind of retreat back a little bit. Heal up. Very nice. Donar be with us. Diana can help as well with that healing. Perfect. Sayuna we'll move will Narima into the is forest to be there. All right, I think we're just gonna. We will always find a way. Wait, do this one more time, and hopefully we can get coming. to the temple next turn. I must not fail. Abigail's just kind of moving down. Yeah, everybody else is gonna just stay put. Remember, we have 13 turns, so we're still gonna hopefully be able to get an S rank on this. Yes. Okay. There we go. Denari Temple. Revive. Oh, perfect. Okay. Got our units back. That's what we really needed there. Okay, excellent. Now, let's see if we can finish this. I must stay strong. 
Perfect. There it is. Chapter complete. Nine out of nine. We did it in 11 turns. Had 13 to go. S rank. There it is. All objectives complete. Can't argue with that. And we got our units that died back from the dead. So uh, we didn't lose anybody. Almost perfect as far as I, I can tell. Especially since we weren't expecting to get ambushed by a bunch of reinforcements. So I'm, I'm going to take this one. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. Lemelin Monastery. How wonderful. We are finally home. Um... My Alex. Long time no see, kiddo. Uncle Steph, you're back too? Uncle? Kid's got quite the imagination. <laughs> Delia, my beloved sister. My heart is at ease knowing you are safe. Every time you go to war, it fills me with dread. I hope you will stay longer this time. Surely you could use a spot of rest. That's an understatement. Your hospitality is always welcome, Adelia. But the dangers to our world are growing, and the paladins are needed more than ever. I will spend every moment with you and Alex while I am here. I'll get you caught up. Adelia there's her bonded. Not sisters by birth, but by blood pact. Adelia is the sister of mercy who takes care of the warrior's family and home while enjoying a privileged status in their holy order. Diana is the sister of justice, or the paladin. In fact, the leader of them. They, you know, go out and smash things. Interesting setup they've got going. Mm-hmm. Mostly Diana's doing, though. A return to the old way. You see, she's actually a bit of an outcast round here. Too orthodox for their lot. By my view, she's a better religious wackadoo than any of them. These lazy priests don't even realize what she's become. She is the temple, my friend. You didn't hear that from me, though. Grandmaster Oxley. Yes, I'm still here, alive and kicking. And so is my greatest paladin, despite her lust for battle. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Oh yes, of course, you haven't met. Diana, please meet Brother Jebediah. He is my protege and well-versed in the language of the ancient texts. Come now, don't be shy. Nice to meet you. So, you will be assisting the Grandmaster? Very well. I would like you I would like to introduce our new friend Craig. We found him as a prisoner at the cult's prison complex near Granheim Abbey. You actually survived there? I mean It would seem so, right? Yes, of course, but simply remarkable. Their brutality is boundless. Grandmaster, do you think? Please, follow us, Craig. What happens here shall be kept quiet for now. I trust you, Diana, but... Everyone here is familiar with the Nephilim prophecy. Please step into the center of the room. This is so foolish.
Ah! Get out of my head! What are you doing to me? What did you hear from the voice that called out to you? Hatred, anger, and darkness. Too intense for words. A desire for revenge. I heard it too, Craig. It was Dinar himself who struck the final blow on Xanatus. It is only natural that the demon would burn with desire for revenge. I see why you wanted this uh, to keep this stuff a secret. People would become completely unhinged if rumors spread about the return of Dinar. Diana, you can't be serious with all this. Are you really trying to tell me we're supposed to save the world because of some fairy tale? I've always made my own fate, and I'm not planning on changing now. Anyone can be some sort of chosen one if they want it bad enough. Maybe even Jeb here. It is quite a tall order. To experience such evil, assaulting one's mind, and then to accept one's fate. Diana, you too struggled with this, you know. Only as long as I failed to maintain my faith. new friend here is welcome among us. Please make this your home and take time to reflect on what happened. In time, you will know what you believe. Please excuse me, I must make a record of this. I am sorry I pushed you into this. I guess I can't blame you. This is your mission. It's what you have to believe. I do believe, and perhaps, eventually, you will too. Until then, we will go together. I am yours to unleash upon your enemies. You've got the wrong chosen one, Diana. But to have you as a friend and ally would be just as good for me. Likewise, Craig. This is the Historum, Historium Magnus. It is an ancient text written by the founders of the Denarii Temple, recalling the events of the original battle with Xenatus. Looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. You and I will not be able to read it. Only the Temple Grand Masters and one protege have gone through the years of rigorous study required to interpret it. How nice of the Founders to keep secrets from the rest of us, don't you think? Grandmaster Oxley wishes for me to take the book. Leaving it here is too dangerous for the innocents who live here. You must tell no one, Craig. The cult will do anything to gain the knowledge within these texts. Lastly, he has agreed to help finance our army to the tune of 10,000 gold pieces. May we not squander this blessing. Well, again, some of these story developments are always pretty um, earth-shattering. So, again, it seems like it's confirmed that we are, in fact, uh, a Nephilim. And I, I believe that was kind of confirmed previously, but it seems like that was additional confirmation. And we're learning, again, a lot more about this prophecy and the legend and all of these, these factors leading up to what's presumably going to culminate in this, you know, epic battle against uh, the forces of evil. So I'm going to leave it here. I think this was a, a pretty solid episode. We had a lot that we accomplished and we just got a 10,000 extra gold. So we're going to be able to probably maybe buy some uh, mercenaries or continue to really um, beef up our forces. So uh, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.